My name is Courtney Phillips and I'm a program and project manager at the Shell Rock River Watershed District. The Shell Rock River Watershed District received a Bowser funded targeted watershed grant in which we were able to install multiple wetlands, a stream bank restoration, and a two-stage ditch project along with waterways. One of the main reasons that we targeted Pickerel Lake is because it's a headwaters location for us. Uh, the unique thing about the Shell Rock River Watershed District is uh, no water flows into this county, all the water flows out of it. So we're the headwaters location uh, for the Cedar River and then ultimately goes to the Mississippi uh, down in Iowa. So we want to be able to target and clean our water from the source and Pickerel Lake is one of those headwaters locations. It's one of the first lakes in our chain of lake system that receives water. So when you clean water up from the start, you're only benefiting it more for downstream. We did a rough fish reclamation project where we put in an electric fish barrier and prevented the lake from being filled with rough fish. Uh, we worked with the DNR to do a rote known treatment on that lake and we saw a lot of improved condi conditions on the lake as far as clarity and uh, nutrient management. However, we were we were very close to meeting state standards, but we weren't quite there yet. We needed to do upstream efforts to, you know, further reduce nutrients from getting into the lake. And so that's why we did some BMP projects in that area. Today, you are gonna see a wetland restoration project that we refer to as the Wasmoan Wetland Restoration. This was a project that we partnered with US Fish and Wildlife and Pheasants Forever to be able to complete. Pheasants Forever was able to purchase it using Lassard Sands Outdoor Heritage Council funding. They purchased the ground and the Shell Rock River Watershed District worked with U.S. Fish and Wildlife to complete the design and restoration on it. It is uh, 250 acres that is now in native prairie planting. There are roughly 32 wetlands uh, that were created on the project. A lot of the benefits of this are one, having just established perennial cover on top of the soil. And then this area was prone to erosion because of the soil that it had. So it did have surface erosion. Now getting rid of that, you know, cropping rotation, having native plants and this wetland here helps to filter out nutrients, be able to keep the soil sediment stable um, and not erode. Uh, and it also provides secondary benefits such as habitat for uh, birds, pollinators and wildlife. One of the great opportunities with the targeted watershed project is we were able to do multiple different types of BMP projects on the landscape. We were able to create a variety of different BMPs that worked with the landowners and provided uh, a lot of perpetual projects for clean water benefits. 